How's everyone doing? Hope you all having a fantastic day and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. In this one we're going to talk about a couple of freeware add-ons that are going to change the way your Microsoft Flight Simulator looks to make it basically look more realistic. Because out of the box the Microsoft Flight Simulator might look a little bit cartoonish and have a couple of features that are easily changeable with some freeware add-ons that will improve the realistic um, or the realism of the simulator in its whole. So if you do enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to check out some car videos, you can check that out on my other channel, which is linked right up there. And now let's get straight into the video. So let's get into the first one, which is going to be We Love VFR Regions 1 and 2, because 3 is still being worked on. So what is We Love VFR? It's one of the most loved freeware add-ons actually on FlightSum.io. I think it's the most downloaded one as well. Which is a region update which places a thousand um, or places a thousand of antennas, masts, smokestacks, construction cranes, radar domes, satellite dishes, and more all-around selected regions, which are currently region one and two, which is consistent of Europe, Africa, North and South America, and Asia and Australia are still to be worked on in the future. So what does this include? Over 150,000 objects, which are placed in region one, which covers all of Europe, Africa, and a part of the Middle East. In the version, um, or in this version, mobile communication, TV and radio antennas, chimneys, cooling towers, flare stacks, large mountaintop crosses, radar domes, construction cranes, and satellite dishes or radio telescope dishes are placed all around the region. Smoke and steam effects for chimneys and cooling towers, obviously depending on the temperature. Puffin AI, which corrects placement and appearance of objects, and over 100,000 or 100 custom models. And these are all placed around the world. And obviously, this is one of the uh, most add ons. If you fly VFR, this is going to add so much realism because you have all the real um, chimneys and stuff like that placed all around the world. This is part where Microsoft Flight Simulator just places them down as just some generic objects which don't look realistic. Moving on over to the second add-on, which I think is a must-have. This is going to be Reshade. Reshade is one of my favorite tools when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator or any game in general, where the color is a little bit off to what I expect it to be in real life. And what this is, is basically a generic um, post-processing injector for a game and video software, which is developed by um, Croy Sire. Um, and Reshade exposes an automated um, and generic way to access both frame color and deep information or depth information. Um, so what this does is you can see in the background it changes the way the Microsoft Flight Simulator looks in just the slightest amount. You can change a couple of things or a lot of things actually for instance the vibrance, the levels and just make the simulator for instance blue if you want just blue uh, like completely blue and um, the one thing I'm not a big fan of in Microsoft Flight Simulator is that in default it has this kind of bluish cartoonish color to it and what this does with the preset that I have a link down into the description where you can download it also there's a video tutorial on how to install it correctly as it's just an injector for the simulator um, but what it does is you can see um, in the default Microsoft Flight Simulator is kind of this bluish um, color which overtones every color in the simulator and what this does, it just makes it look a little bit more realistic and removes that blue tone and also the cartoonish color to it, which looks very nice in my opinion. I think if you, like, you can't see it exactly, like, the you don't realize it's immediately that there's a big effect on there. But when you do change it um, and play it for a couple of hours, you can definitely tell, oh, wow, this is actually a big improvement to the simulator. So definitely a check out if you want to check it out. Third on the list, we're going to move over to the Power Lines and Solar Farms add-on, which is also another freeware add-on. Obviously, all of these are freeware add-ons. And first of all, credits to Federico Pinotti for the amazing video in the background, which just shows you um, what the add-on is about. So when you fly VFR in real life, being near the ground leads to a lot of danger. One of the most common um, one of this possibility is that you get caught in power line. Um, so electricity um, transmission lines. But Microsoft Flight Simulator has power line pylons, but no wire between them. With this add-on, um, they added the wires between each pylon for high voltage power lines, so more than 60,000 volts. And another thing that the sim was missing was solar panels or solar farms. So in this add-on, they also did that basic implementation, but there are no longer empty black bluish fields, which is a big add-on because when you fly across Microsoft Flight Simulator, you obviously always see Oh, what is what's that black field down there? And then you realize, oh, that's supposed to be a power um, a solar panel farm. But with this add-on, that's actually going to turn into a solar panel farm, which is pretty nice. And this add-on is mainly for Europe, but there's a couple of regions which um, are also outside of Europe, um, which is going to change the power lines and the solar panels for that as well, which is a big add-on. I think it just looks amazing when it comes to the flight simulator. When you Again, this is another Microsoft Flight Simulator VFR add-on, which I think just looks amazing. So in the background, like you see, it just adds all the power lines, and that is basically it for this model, uh, for this add-on, which you can, again, download in the description down below, where every single add-on has a link down there as well. 
Moving on over to the fourth add-on on this list, which is going to be Airport's Lights. This is another add-on which you can download from flightsim.to. Again, every single link in the description down below. This file adds lights for terminals of more than 1,100 international or national airports. And there's a complete list of the airports that are included in this file in the description of the download section from flightsim.to. This changes them on all continents, um, but again, do test um, the lights first because there might be some issues when it comes to certain airports. Then the back on this is Hanover, if I'm not totally mistaken. I did record that a couple of minutes ago, but I forgot which airport it was. Um, and if you don't see the airport that you'd want, definitely leave a comment down in the description with the ICAO code, um, which is going to help a lot because obviously he wants to add um, the most airports he can. So any questions he's going to um, or requests he's going to add first. But this has more than 32,000 light poles all around the world and counting. As you can see, it adds um, only for the terminals, the lights, not for the runway because those are... They don't need that much change they look pretty great and um, but the terminals are all black and with this update you're not going to have black terminals anymore and finally we're going to be looking at global ai ship traffic version 2. this is a beta version of the global AI traffic project with additional ship models more AI AI routes, as well as light, smoke, and wake effects on most models. This package contains around 680 unique ship models from all over the world. The Global AI Traffic Project provides AI ship traffic across the globe with realistic models of real-life ships of all type, from fishing boats to cruise ships, from tugs to tankers, container ships, and bull carriers, from pe um, petrol boats to submarines, destroyers, and aircraft carriers. Once fully updated, more than 1,400 ships, including um, close to 700 unique models, are placed on all routes over the world according to what is realistic in each region. More than 100 ferry routes are covered with um, their specific ferries and you will find basically naval exercises as well in, for instance, a full-scale NATO landing exercise on the west coast of um, Jutland, Pennsylvania in Denmark, which is just amazing. So this is one mod that um, really adds a whole another perspective to the shipping um, part of the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Obviously, when you're flying across the ocean, it might be a little bit sad that there's nothing going on, but with this, you're going to have lots of boats which are custom-made and everything like that. It looks great, and I think it's a great addition, and it just makes the simulator look a little bit more realistic. Again, if you want to check out any of these, they're going to be link down in the description down below with the presets for for instance reshade and every link um, that you need thank you very much for watching hope you did enjoy if you do enjoy make sure to like and subscribe because it does mean a lot and you'll be updated on everything that has to do with microsoft that comes out is it news or is it some information or even maybe who knows in the future some flights so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you next time Bye bye